A Glimpse at Soul is a very specific title as opposed to A Glimpse of Soul. For me, A Glimpse at starts to speak to the whole as opposed to the individual. This notion of collective experience. When you get a glimpse of something, it's a fragment, if you will, a small portion. But when you get a glimpse at, you get to see the whole thing, even just for a second. This work, although it is very personal and it comes from me, it really does speak to the collective, the greater experience, the whole, if you will. So initially I was asked a question, and the question was, what do you think about today's climate? So I started to think about how I was feeling and how I could express that um, with an image. And so with this piece, the first, Ascension One, I like to ask how many of us have had a bad day? And this kind of starts to get at this idea that life can be long and sometimes have its difficult patches. And as I get older and start to really see and understand how the world works, um, not for what I thought it might be, but for what it actually is, um, there's a little bit of a stunning there. So that's where this kind of look comes from, like, whoa, this is how the world actually works. And uh, for me, the initial response is almost to want to close off. And so that's why the, the flesh, the man, his fingers are closed. Um, you know, let me take a step back from social media, let me disengage, that kind of response. But something on the inside, that abstraction within us all, the unexplainable, the serendipity, that little spark on the inside says, you know what, you have to keep open and look above and try to find something that will help you move forward so that I can get the best out of this experience. So in a way this, for me, it's a personal answer response to a type of universal experience, this human experience. So as we make our way over here to Ascension 2, this starts to become a little bit more specific about me being a black man here in America and my experience in this current time. I don myself with a cape and for me it's representative of my painting abilities, almost like a superpower if you will. Be it that it comes with a type of responsibility for sure. And on one hand, I'm to some degree chained. And for me, the chains are representative of stereotypes, if you will. Are you a good basketball player? What's your favorite rap music? All I have to do is put on a hoodie, sweatpants, and walk into any retail store. And all of those stereotypes, negative connotations, are chained to me whether I prescribe to them or not. And on the other hand, I hold a rose, beautiful, full of life. And for me, it's representative of black culture, black American culture, beautiful, full of life. But here at the bottom, the petals fall and start to collect and pool like blood, representing the fallen, slain, martyred, murdered, taken, taken, boys and girls, men and women. Emmett Till, Rodney King, Martin Luther King, and George Floyd. There's this really long history. And in response, again, the spirit man, depicted in blue, drops to a knee, looks above, points above, and calls upon something greater for assistance for guidance, to help me get through this time and space in a way that I'm able to still thrive and be successful.